Alright, here to talk about fittings today. So I've got uh, three different Sentinel suits here and two different Logi suits. I have one set up for each of the Sentinel suits and two for each of the Logi suits. I'm just going to share with you guys, these are pretty much the most common uh, setups I would run with these suits. Uh, I don't have too, too much experience running any of them and as a result of that I'm going to respec and not go into these so I figured I'd made this uh, video now. I may end up eventually speccing into them again because I'm weak and I can't help it. But, yeah, so for now, I'm not gonna have them for a bit. So let's check them out. Alright, so we'll start with this uh, Sentinel AKO, the Mars Sentinel. Um, in the high slot, I just run the Crin's Damage mod. It's cheap on CPU PG. Uh, it's pretty much your best option. You could throw in, you know, a Shield Recharger Energizer, but that's just near pointless. Um, it would just modify your very, very low regen of uh, 15, and you have very high delays. You're very rarely going to have your... Well, no, I guess you don't have very high... This, this suit, oddly, has uh, 5 seconds for both delays, so it wouldn't take that long, but it's only 15, and a mod even, you know, a high mod... It, it, wouldn't make, it wouldn't make much of a difference, and you don't rely on your shields here much anyways, although you do have a uh, reduction to rail damage against your shields, but anyways, you still don't rely on them. So anyways, uh, you could put a jump mod, but again, you're modifying very small jump, you're not doing much, Ma modifying small melee dam relatively small melee damage, uh, and shield extender, you, you probably won't have full shields a lot if you're in the action, so it'll help you maybe a couple times, but not much. Uh, that's that. Um, on all these Sentinel suits, I have bolt pistols, I really just like running them, um, I, I just like, it, it's the longest range uh, sidearm, so I just like running them in addition to the... Head machine gun. Okay, so on the Amar one, I just threw on the boundless head machine gun, the old reliable. Uh, it's pretty, it's pretty much outclassed versus the uh, the Freedom Assault. I suppose this one might be better for taking on multiple people, but the Freedom Assault's a monster. But I thought I'd just throw this one on here because it's kind of a classic fit. It's a Mars Sentinel. Uh, basic flux grenade. There's no real point in even running cores on this because heavies have such slow. Um, grenade throw speed, it's just hard to use them properly. I just throw on a flux because I don't use grenades on heavy much anyways, and flux should always helpful if you do need to get an equipment or something really quickly. Uh, comp two complex armor plates, just that gets me over a thousand HP and two complex armor repairs. Now those low slots are changeable. You could throw on one or two more complex armor plates. Uh, it depends on how much access do you think you're gonna have to a repair tool or repping nano hives. But this is my just go-to fit for if I'm not sure if I'm gonna have reps or not. Um, this this gets me what 20.25 uh, reps per second. That's pretty good, and 1,047 armor, which again is pretty good. If I know I'll have a logi, I'll run a third arm play. If I know I'm gonna have a logi on my ass the entire time, I'll have three complex armor plates getting me like I think it's 1,344 armor. Uh, so that's that fit. Uh, there you know you can change anything on it, but that's pretty much the, how you run that. Uh, Kaldari Sentinel. I'm kind of a Kaldari guy, but I'm not a huge fan of Sentinel. But, okay, so two complex shield extenders and two complex shield rechargers. You can run energizers here, but with the high base shield of the Kaldari Sentinel, you're losing a decent amount per, per uh, energizer you put on. Um, yeah, so I just like running the recharges. With two recharges, you get, uh, what, 66 hit points per second. I think you get, like, 45 and a half with only one, so you can throw on a, uh, another shield extender if you like. Uh, I don't really see any reason to run another shield recharger though. Uh, you could replace one of the shield extenders or one of the recharges with a damage mod as well. But heavy damage mods don't go too far. They're only 5%. The cringe is much better. It gets 4% to both your primary and your secondary. If you really want that extra 1%, you can do that. But it's at a higher uh, IS cost, higher CPPG cost, but I guess not everyone has a cringe damage mod, so you might have to do that. Uh, Calakiota Bolt Pistol, as I said before. Six skin burst head machine gun. Uh, this is kind of a go in and out of cover, go in and out of combat kind of suit, and, and the uh, six skin burst head machine gun goes well with that. So it's just my favorite one to run on here. It does really high alpha damage. You, um, it just tears through suits very quickly. Highest DPS in the whole game. Yeah. Uh, and again, I just throw on fluxes here, and you can run really whatever you want in here. Uh, an armor repair would probably be good, or a reactive play. I just run the shield re regulator. Once you get down to an armor, you're usually screwed anyways. Um, yeah, it just makes your times even better. It takes it from 4 seconds and 1 second to 2.46 and 0.7 seconds. That's pretty good. That's pretty much all for that fit. You can, again, change up these fits however you like, but this is just how I like to run them. This fit, I had a 
probably the least experience with. Uh, I got it with two complex shield extenders and a complex recharger. The recharger, for the same reason I said before, over an energizer. Bolt pistol, same reason. Uh, Freedom Assault heavy machine gun. That's probably the go-to heavy machine gun for anything nowadays. That thing's pretty OP. Um, it's pretty much broken, at least in my opinion, in a lot of people's opinion. Uh, tears through infantry like no other at longer range than the other heavy machine gun, and it also just can decimate vehicles. Drop ships that get close, LAVs, near insta kill, even tanks have to be careful if they don't have hardeners up. Flux grenade again. Uh, complex skin cat, I like running a, at least one complex skin cat on a min heavy always. Uh, if you really want a fast fit, you can run two complex skin cats, or you can go to the, uh, the base, the, the regular min heavy, not the sentinel, but just the heavy, it's even faster. Uh, I think you sacrifice some HP and the CPU PG might be different, and you sacrifice the roll bonus as well, but it's even more speed. Uh, and then the shield regulator, I just ran it. it, it's easier on the fitting cost, I couldn't fit a second kin cat or else that would, would I be running. Uh, or you can run a, a regulator on this, you can just change that out, you would have to downgrade something, you could take off your grenades, or downgrade a shield, extender, or one of the two weapons in order to fit that. But that's how I run that suit. Uh, you get pretty fast speeds, and it, you still have pretty decent range with the Freedom Assault HMG. That's that. Uh, Logistics AKO, the Amar Logi. I have this one, the Kaldari. Uh, this, I probably like this one better just because it has the sidearm. I really do like the sidearm, having sidearm. I've tried the, the Logis, and I just can't live without the sidearm. Nothing to switch to when I have to reload, it just sucks. Anyways, this is just a kind of general combat fit, and it, it's basically, it basically plays like a, a slightly weaker assault, but it's got the uplink bonuses, plus more slots. So, just two complex light damage mods, and a Krenz damage mod. The Krenz is just for fitting purposes, and also, the, you, the stacking penalty is making the light damage bonus pretty low, so now I get a little bit of bonus to that sidearm, just, just because. Um, Weapon, Ishikon Assault Rail, I would do the advanced, but if I'm stacking all these damage mods, I might as well get that extra, you know, couple percents. Anyways, uh, Toxin SMG, it's cheap, and it's reliable, uh, not much to say there. Flux Grenades, couldn't fit cores too well, and there's no, you can, on it, on most suits, you can usually fit uh, an advanced flux over a basic flux, it's just like 9 more CPU and 1 more PG. Uh, it's just a little bit more damage, but the damage is overkill against um, drop suit. Any drop suit will be one shield will be one shot by a uh, basic flux. Uh, any flux can destroy an LEV if you hit the bottom of it. Uh, you do get a little longer range for taking out equipment on this one and the proto. The pro don't ever do the proto though. It's just too much CPPG for what it gives you. I, the only real use of this is maybe if you could hit a like a python or a shield uh, or a shield tank. A python's pretty unlikely, or I guess any shield dropship, but uh, I guess you can hit tanks and surprise them, but most people run the armor tanks anyways. I would just stick with the basic flux, it just saves a little bit of this, but that's on there anyways. Uh, the drop up links, I've got gauge, visium gauge and visium flux. Um, ideally you'd want to switch out one of those two, probably the gauge for the Amar links. They're basically flux links with a lot better spawn time. The gauge does give you a third spawn, making it my, it, it's my favorite link. I like to be able to have access to three. And then this flux one only gives you two, but it's a little bit faster. Um, I got the Creodron Flux Attribute Scanner, pretty much the best all-around scanner. Pretty much the best scanner, you know, except for maybe the Focus could have a little bit more use. It has a little different use, but this is the best all-around. Long range, good scan angle, not too bad on cooldown, etc, etc. And then the low slots, what, three enhanced armor, two enhanced armor plates, basic armor plate, complex reactive plate, and complex armor repair. That gets me 664 armor along with almost 15 reps per second, so that's pretty good. The speed penalty is not too, too much. I think it drops me like around 0.5-ish movement speed, a little over 0.5. Uh, so that's not too bad. Again, it doesn't have quite as much HP as you could on just say like a Galente Assault or an Amar Assault with a similar fit, but you do get access to two more equipment slots and better spawn times and spawn counts on your uplinks. Uh, yeah, so that's that. This other one right here, this is kind of a this is a mobility fit mostly. Uh, three jump mods would get you up on top of most things that you need to get up on top of that don't require drop ships. Well, you know, the only thing, just faster suits will jump higher. Nothing, you know, you can't go higher than the three jump mods anyway. Uh, so I got a shotgun and this breach submachine gun. Once I, I made the fit and then 
pretty much there's nothing else I can increase without going over except for this. I had the toxin, so I just went up to this. Um, I prefer the breach submachine gun over the regular submachine gun, but it, it's just a basic on the toxin because I have that. It's free. Uh, yeah, this is kind of a close range fit, meant for city engagements mainly. Uh, basic flux grenade, as I've been saying. This is the same equipment as the other one. You can trade something out here, but I'd recommend using at least two links. The scanner is the thing you'd probably trade out. Um, you could run remote explosives if it's that kind of battle. Um, a needle if you want, you know, nano, you know, whatever it needs to be, just whatever equipment. Even a rep tool is, if that's how you want to roll. Um, complex cardiac reg, elator, and a complex kin cat, that'll get you around fast. Your stamina will last almost forever. I think you can run into most cities on any map without running out of stamina with only one of these cardiac regulators. Uh, if you want a really fast run in suit, you can just run four kin cats and a regulator, and that will, that'll always get you there if you want, you know, you don't need the fourth kin cap. Uh, it's a little bit more, a little bit better, just that extra couple meters per second will, you know, help a bit, but, uh, yeah. I just run it like this. It's two complex pharaohs and a complex armor repair. You could replace that armor repair with a reactive plate, with pharaoh scale plates. I wouldn't recommend really going with regular plates, because that's kind of killing the mobility of the fit, but, yeah, I got, this is close to 600 HP, well, not close, it's a little over 500 HP anyways, close to 550 HP, which is pretty good. Uh, not much else to say about it. You can get around quickly. You can get around to good places as well. This is roughly the speed of Scout. Uh, that sprint speed, I think, is slightly higher than Kaldari and Galente Scout if they don't have any kin cats on. Movement speed's lower, obvious, for obvious reasons. Uh, moving on, Kaldari Lodgy. Um, this is just about the scrubbiest fit you can ever imagine. It's got five enhanced shield extenders, uh, four enhanced armor plates that gets you 500 shields on the dot almost 600 armor, 4 shy of 600 on the dot. Um, Kalak Yoda, this is like the ultimate camp fit. There's this one guy by the name of You Suck at Dust, who would like to, uh, back in the day when, you know, Lodgies were basically just better assaults, he would just run, it was basically this fit. Um, I think maybe, I, I believe he had over 600 armor and roughly 500 shield. I, he might have been running complex armor plates, but in order to fit this really well, I just threw on enhanced. I uh, still got like 1100 HP. Calico had a rail rifle, pretty much one of the campiest guns in the game. Back when he used to do it, it was way but The gun was way more powerful. You could do it... Pretty much it was the best gun along with combat rifle in the game. Uh, you could do it at close range, even though that's what, not, what it's not intended for, and it has pretty much, and has the longest range of the light weapons besides snipers and lasers. Uh, core looks grenade, again, just a really powerful thing, pretty scrubby. Um, and since you got all these nice nano eyes here to replenish them, why not use them? Okay, so wire combing triage highs, that's purely for triage. Allotech nano hives, that'll give ammo and triage. And compact nano hive, same thing. Uh, I threw on the nano injector, that's literally the only piece of equipment I could fit. Uh, I had to have, it had to be something with like 3 PG or less, and I think that's the only thing. I couldn't even throw on another comp compact if it's 4 PG. Um, yeah, so. If you throw down all of these with Kal uh, Kaldari Lodgy at level 5, it now nano hives don't quite repair at one, one, uh, one pulse per second. I, it's somewhere between one and one and a half, I think. So this fit will get you close to 300 reps per second if you're standing on all the nano hives. Uh, that's pretty ridiculous. That you know your nano hives can be destroyed quickly by a mass driver grenade, a flux grenade, whatever it is. But if they're not doing that and you're camping up high where it's kind of hard to hit, um, you're in, you're basically invincible to small arm fire. Anything that doesn't one shot you, you're you're basically invincible. Uh, 1100 HP that dodges alpha damage and 300 reps per second. It's uh, pretty pretty uh, interesting. And yeah, that's that fit. If you want to be an ultimate scrub, you can run that. And final fit. This is just more general Kaldari Lodgy fit. Here I got four complex. Nope. Three complex shield extenders and enhanced shield that gets me 489 shield, along with a, an enhanced shield energizer. Energizer's fine on pretty much non-sentinel suits because there's the shield bonus. It's percentage based. The higher base shield you have, the more shield you're gonna lose. So I would, I, I just I was running a complex shield recharger, but as you can see there, I'm only four CPU shy of, ma of going over, and. I couldn't fit the complex shield, and I don't shield recharge. I don't like running anything below that because the rest kind of suck. So I got that on there. That and that gets me um, more than a 40, almost 41 shield recharge per second. That's pretty good. Only four and 6.37 delays. That's not too hot, too uh, high. So I didn't run any 
uh, regulators on there, just an enhanced assault rail rifle. The assault rail rifle, assault rail rifle is one of the most versatile weapons in the game. Uh, long range, good close quarters capabilities, good damage profile, all this stuff. Um, doesn't go for the clip too quickly, and just a really good weapon. And since I don't have a sidearm, I thought I'd run this, not some novelty specialty weapon. Uh, basic flux grenades that I've been saying, and then it's just four different pieces of equipment. Uh, any any of these things can be can be traded out. Um, you can run it however you really want, but I just got an uplink, uh, the Allotech Nano High. Okay, let's just the uplink gauge Nano High or gauge uplink that I've been saying. You can run whatever uplink you want. Pro gauge and flux are the best. The MR are the best. Um, Allotech Nano Hive that'll give reps and ammo. If you really want to get more reps, you can uh, run the wire Comey uh, and you'll forego the uh, the ammo. You got a Nano Injector. Just it'll get you more points. It'll keep your team alive, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, then you got a scanner. Uh, any of these things can be traded out for a rep tool. I'm just not spiking into rep tools, so I didn't put any on here. And then there's also like remote explosives that you can put on, or what's the other piece of equipment I'm forgetting? No, one more. There's also proximity, but it's a uh, oh, cloak field, yeah. And then I just got four basic armor plates. Gets me a good amount of armor. Since you're gonna have rep highs on you anyways, might as well run some armor. Uh, basically, you know, kind of stay back with your team. You got uplinks, to keep your team coming in, scans, keep them lit up. Needle keeps them alive once they go down, and then Ohio gives them ammo and armor, so that keeps them alive as well. This is kind of a support unit. Uh, Mimitar Logic is probably a better support unit due to the higher repair tool value, but this is the one I have. And then Galente is better for scans. And that's all I got for you guys. See ya.